Jeff, we just got back from Richmond and an enjoyable race as far as RFK goes and Chris Buescher. And when I say enjoyable, Jeff, I'm going to start with you and say, you know, in the 35 year history of Roush racing, more or less, is when it started back in 88, you accounted for 17 wins. Over the last seven years, RFK has only experienced two wins until they have Brad Keselowski joining him. And Chris Buescher has now the most recent two wins in 18 months. So is this a resurgence now of RFK with Chris Buescher and Brad Keselowski? Well, it certainly appears to be. And, and I think it's, I think that's a really good thing. I think, you know, there's a former driver there. And I think pretty much all the drivers that have been there, you know, you really felt like uh, you left a legacy. And there was something that, that was awesome about being at Roush Racing. And then you've seen it deteriorate over the last several years, and it's been very disappointing. Uh, you know, Jack Roush coming in here uh, and letting, letting Brad Keselowski join, I thought was a great move. Uh, Brad's proactive. Jack loves his drivers to be involved, and it's taken a while. But I think that that's a good thing. I, I'm glad it's taken a while because what that means to me is that they're building a foundation that has longevity. Uh, you know, I would be a little nervous if they came out and just all of a sudden started running well. They've taken their time. They haven't overreacted. They've put changes in place, but they haven't, uh, they've, they've evolved. They haven't had a revolution. They've had an evolution. And I think when those kind of changes are made, that, that means it's going to work for a while. So I'm very happy to see it. And I, and I do believe this year you're starting to see the, the consistent strength that, that Roush and Wade Keselowski has brought. And that is what pr produces long-term success. All right, Jeff, don't get mad at me, but here we go. Patience is a virtue rarely seen in race car drivers. Uh, but race car driver owner Brad Keselowski is showing it. And that's really what, what I think is the big difference. Uh, we could talk a lot about numbers, but think of this. The last time Roush Racing led over 400 laps was all the way back in 2013. They have done it both years with Brad. They've already matched last year's lap-led total and we still have uh, 14 races to go this year. So while wins and trophies what is what will be celebrated, that resurgence that Jeff Burton just so um, accurately spoke about is clear in the data. Like if you really go past wins and you really start digging into other sort of metrics that I believe people look at as far as improvement, average running position, laps led, just chances to win a race. These races are so hard to win but here's a race where they had a chance with both cars. Um, I think that's great. Now, my heart breaks for Brad because I thought this was his. I won't lie. Halfway through that stage, I said to myself, it's going to be so cool to see Brad's emotion when he gets out of the car because it's going to be amazing um, if he can win this race. And then just a mistake right here on the pit stop. I don't know if he lost track of where his pit stall was. I didn't have a chance to listen to the radio, but... You know, a poor pit stall entrance um, cost more time and, and in the end cost the lead uh, to his teammate. So, Jeff, I want to throw this question to you and say, all right, Brad Keselowski is 151 points above the cut line. Chris Buescher now has a win. He's in the playoffs. How will RFK do in the playoffs? Can they move forward in the playoffs from the first round to the second round and maybe even get into the championship four? You know what? I think they can. And the reason why is uh, because they are exceptionally consistent. You know, when you look at when you look up, they're always running in the top 10. And I think the first round of the playoffs, I think that's crucial. Uh, it, that's really how you get through the first round is to not create mistakes, not do things that, that get you in trouble. Uh, so, yes. And, and by the way, I, I feel like the Fords are bringing more speed the last three or four weeks. I feel like they're starting to get some speed. So, uh, yeah, I think they can advance in the playoffs. It's unlikely that both of them will continue to advance because it's just, you know, it's hard to get two through there. But but uh, it's a it's a to me, when I look at the field, there's a lot of opportunity. There's some guys that you see running in the top two, three, four, five pretty much every week. And there's other people that don't. So uh, it's very mixed up and, and their consistency is a strength. I think they can, but Rick, I don't think that they have to. While I think it would be nice if they could for Brad, because if you look where he is in his driving career, it's definitely closer to the finish than it is the start. But if you look at their, you know, the second driver and Chris Busher at 30 years old, he still has at least a decade probably of prime driving time in his career. So what I mean by that is why they want to. 
and they want to take advantage of that. The key is Brad's going to be able to address an organization and say, we have two cars in the playoffs. And this organization is going to be reminded because they were here years ago, but it's been a long time. And you wonder how many people are still around from that era. And he can kind of introduce everyone to the postseason. Rick, you're a sports fan, much like myself, much like Jeff. The postseason in every sport is different. And it is no different in NASCAR. The pressure goes up. The performance goes up. When you reach the postseason, I am confident when we start the playoffs, all 10 cars in the top 10, if not the top 12, will be playoff cars. Everyone finds another speed. I think that's the key to RFK, that patience, uh, that long-term growth, making the playoffs, in my mind, is the next step on the podium to where they want to be eventually, which is champions. And I want to put a period on this by saying Brad Keselowski will have a little added pressure this week in Michigan because never before has a Michigan-born driver won at Michigan. And Brad Keselowski says that's one of the goals he wants to accomplish as a driver. Hi, I'm Parker Kligerman. For more access like this from Pit Road, be sure to click and subscribe to the Motorsports and NBC YouTube channel.